What's up guys, it's Rota here and welcome back to yet another amazing video on the channel. So today I got a brand new deck profile on the Sword Soul archetype. I've been meaning to get this out to you guys as soon as possible. I finally got all the cards assembled and I finally got a build that I'm happy to show with you guys. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment what profile you would like to see next. Now without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So starting off with the 40 card main deck here, we have Triple Incredible Ecclesia. This card is incredible going first and second. Going first, it's any Sword Soul name and going second, it's basically a free body on the board and then it tags out to any Sword Soul name. Really good for baiting the negates. Also, it's a tuner, so if there is, there can be only one, and you have a Sword Soul on board, you can normal summon her, and then you can go into your same pro plays that way. For the Sword Soul guys, we got Triple Mo Yi. She is really, really good because all she needs is another Worm or Sword Soul card, generates the token, and then you can sync her and draw a card. So she is really, really nice. Triple of Longyang, he basically makes your Baron de Fleur every single time because that card is an Omni Negate and it's really really good and he also burns and in addition to the new Synchro that's coming out the burn can actually come up because now you're going to be burning your opponent around 3600 damage a turn so and for the last Sword Soul I was considering playing him at one but this guy is really really good because he's the only Sword Soul guy that you can normal and don't have to reveal you don't have to have another Kenny or Sword Soul were months in general. You can just banish a Sword Soul card from the grave and generate a token, so he's really, really good. For the Tennies, we got Triple of Ashuna because he special summons from the deck the other Tenny guys. We got Double Vishuda and Double Adhara. I feel like this package is very, very standard in a Sword Soul build. They help you break boards and make really, really bit nice synchro plays. For the Hand Traps, we got Triple Nib. This can also be triple roll, it's just up to preference. I just like the rock because they forget to counter five and they get mega punished. And for the last monster here in the main deck, it is of course triple ash, just the most generic hand trap of the format. Moving on to the spells, we have triple of the forbidden drip. Um, quite mandatory in my opinion, this just helps. It works really well with your 10 years. If you can't afford this, you can play Chanis, but this card is just incredible going second. So I play triple of the forbidden drip. Of course, we're playing triple of the Rota, there's not much to say here, just Rotas you, any Sword Soul. And if you control a Synchro, it becomes any Worm. Triple of the Heavenly Dragon Circle. This card is really important when trying to dodge Imperm and Vela because it tributes the guy off the board, and then you can either add, and if it was a non-effect, you can summon. And he also has the effect that can banish itself and add you a Tenny, so it's actually kind of cool. Double Vessel, was playing three, kept opening two, it's a hard one to return. Play two guys this card is incredible you always ash this if you know you go against it one pot of desires yes this was murdered on the ban list for absolutely no reason in my opinion but it's okay we'll just play one and yeah it's just basically just pot of greed one of the monster reborn i feel like you should play it i see a lot of builds not playing it and it just makes me wonder why it helps you get another body on the board and make another synchro which is the entire point of the deck so i don't know why they're not playing this and for the traps, we've got more hand traps in the form of infinite impermanence. Probably the best hand trap at the moment, just because it plays around tactics and things like that. And then we have, of course, the one Sword Soul Blackout, which again, you need to play searchable, just pops two, and you can banish it from the grave and it gets you a token as well. So really nice. Moving on to the, to the extra deck, we have one Shaman of the Tenny. Um, really, really good card. It does lock you into tennies, but really you're going to be discarding a useless card and bringing back a Synchro Worm, so that's why you use it. Double Monk, you can play three, but if you play the deck correctly, three Monk rarely comes up because usually you either win by, you usually win by then. So three Monk hasn't come up yet, but I see an argument why you could play it. One Bron de, de Fleur, if you can't afford this card, just don't play the deck. I'm not even joking. This card is absolutely crazy and is broken in this deck exactly. So that's why you should play the Bron de Fleur. One of the big boss level 10 guy. He's also really good. He actually combos really, really well with the level 8 sword. So um, if you don't know what he does, he's basically an IDP on legs. If you're playing one Virtual World Shen Shen, you can make this with uh, level 8 and your Adara, which is a tuner and it's level one, and it's basically an automatic win against some deck, so that is why I do play the Shen Shen. Playing one of the Chao Fang. If you come against Drytron, you make this card. Cyber Dragons, you make this card. It just locks them out all of light effects. You can't get Nived, you can't get Baylor. It's really, really nice. We have double of 
the level 8 sword cell, the negate basically and the search, so he's really really nice as well. You basically make him to either extend or usually to end by getting you the trap, so he's very versatile. You don't need three though, two is more than enough. We have one of the backs here. I see a lot of builds playing two. You can argue for two, but I'm playing one at the moment just to give more room to other cards. So one back is really nice. Playing one of the Dragite. This is because Mo used the water. You make water, now you have a spell and trap in the gate. So as why well, you'll play one Omega. This card's too good not to play. You can hand loop stuff, return banish stuff back into your grave. Really nice. One of the Berserker. Again, if you're locked into 10 years, you can make him, and he just has the effect that when a monster effect is activated, just banish it. And this guy's an OTK machine. So. We're playing the one of the Yazi. Again, he helps with your backseer combos. The one flex spot in the deck, I am actually playing Horus because you can switch cards off, but usually you would be playing the Hulk, which is back in the center, but you can just swap them out easily. And you can keep to the expensiveness of this deck and get it ulti and, you know, be broke basically playing this deck so that is it for the extra deck so that's the end of the deck profile guys i hope you guys did enjoy my take on soul soul of course there's a few changes that can be made but this is my version and always this is more like a template for you guys to test on so i hope you guys did enjoy do subscribe we're very very close to actually getting to a thousand almost at 600 at a thousand it will be a big big giveaway so i do encourage you guys to stick around for that so without any further ado thank you for watching it's time to Let's go!